custodia is designed to do to minimize that settlement risk. It's Correct. with that master account that you can settle directly with the Fed and do it instantly and reduce the middleman fees. Correct. Correct. Well, it's more than fees. It's also the cost, but more importantly, it's the counterparty credit risk. Mm. Um, a lot of folks woke up when Silicon Valley Bank failed and figured out, whoa, my bank deposit above $250,000 is an unsecured loan to a leveraged institution that has no insurance attached. And, um, you know, some of the smartest people in the world, some of the Silicon Valley tech companies had kept all their cash at Silicon Valley Bank, and there was a scramble. And uh, up until that point, my understanding is that the liquidity worst case scenario bank runs were assumed to happen over a two week period of time. But we saw Silicon Valley Bank collapse in 48 hours. Uh, and so it, it's, it's, it's a, it really is a perfect storm, unfortunately, for the banking system, the, especially the community and regional banks, because they're upside down having bought a lot of longer term treasuries playing the, what was the steep yield curve during COVID when so much money got just shoved into the banking system. The, the plumbing of QE is that when the Fed expands its balance sheet, they're, they're, they're injecting reserves, to use an old phrase, into the banking system. Those reserves are cash on the balance sheets of the banks. And so when all this cash flooded the banking system during COVID, the banks didn't have demand to lend it out or didn't think there were credit, credit worthy borrowers. And so what they did was just bought treasuries. But because the yield curve was so steep, they bought long-term treasuries. Okay, well, now the yield curve is inverted. Short-term interest rates are higher than long-term interest rates, not the other way around. And so the banks are sitting on large unrealized capital losses in the bond portfolio. And so they're actually insolvent. Now, the truth is the whole system is insolvent in and of itself. If it were ever a systemic run, it, again, this is one of the unfortunate big bang scenarios where if there's a systemic run, you know, you'd see the Fed's balance sheet expanding by tens of trillions of dollars mm -hmm. in a very short period of time. And what 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 would that do to the confidence of the U.S. dollar? Is that is that just a giant head fake um, because of a short squeeze? Uh, and and you see you see a giant squeeze higher and then a sudden collapse. That's one potential scenario here. Again, go back and read the, what happened in the when money dies. You'll you'll quickly realize that those kinds of things have happened in history before. I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but I'm saying it could because the banks are in trouble, um, especially the smaller banks that are upside down on those on those bond portfolios. And we saw that at Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, they didn't have the capital to fill the balance sheet hole caused by this by the increase in long-term interest rates, and rates have gone up a lot since then, which tells you that there really is, um, you know, st stress in the financial system, in the banking system. Like I said before, systems that are built with IOUs piled on top of IOUs, leveraged pyramids, um, they can unwind quickly. Now that doesn't mean they will. Uh, nothing I'm saying, by the way, is new. It's just that everybody seemingly woke up at the same time when they watched what happened with Silicon Valley Bank. And ever since then, there's been a bank walk, not a bank run, but mm -hmm. a bank walk in the system where folks have been taking their, their savings out that were earning no interest and putting them into money market mutual funds. So speaking back to Custodia, Custodia decided to offer money market mutual funds for a very large brand name money market fund manager, government money market fund manager. Check our website. We're not licensed to do business in, in every state, but there's demand for the government money market funds because it's a quote unquote risk-free, I put those in air quotes, those words. Um, it's a quote unquote risk-free because the mo government money market funds are restricted to investing only in US government paper and it's short-term paper. So uh, the yield on those on those money market funds, um, especially when you consider the counterparty credit risk, uh, is, is more attractive than, than keeping money in banks. And we've seen it in aggregate that there's been this slow, steady bank walk withdrawal by folks of deposits from the banking system and purchase of government money market fund shares. It's almost every week you're seeing uh, an increase in 
government money market fund shares outstanding and a decrease in deposits, especially in community and regional banks. And this is an issue, folks. I mean, it, you know, I don't know how the Fed's going to deal with this. They do have a facility where they will pay par uh, for those government, those, those long-term treasury bonds that the banks bought during COVID with all that excess cash, even though the market value of those treasuries might be only 60 or 70 cents on the dollar. The Fed will 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 lend the against those at par. Okay. So that that facility definitely slowed down that bank walk, but it didn't stop it. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how the Fed handles this because it's continuing to raise interest rates 